Hey, Adam Hughes here. Today we're gonna to look at the RTX A6000 in Blender and do a comparison between rendering a image off of the CPU with 16 cores, uh, an older CPU, eh, nonetheless should be a good metric, and then comparing that to the RTX A6000. Now seeing how I don't have a whole lineup of GPUs to show you guys the difference between each one, the intent of this is for you to be able to go download those default examples from Blender, like the ones that I'm using here, and then compare them maybe to your current GPU to see if that's a viable option for you. I'll go ahead and post those links down in the comments, and uh, you guys can, can try it out and run your own comparisons. All right, let's take a look. First off, the uh, demo files are gonna be in the description down below. You can go to that link and download uh, these both of these two examples. I'm first gonna start by changing the render engine here to the CPU render engine. And uh, what you're actually seeing is a little CPU worker agents that kind of show up with this orange box. Now this video is played at 10X and I just have my uh, task manager going and CPU Z going so you can see the load on the GPU is pretty much nothing because again, we're running CPU rendering. And then you can see the load on the CPU is 100% and it's pegged out here. Again, uh, you know, 10X on this. And you know the idea was just to get a comparison between what the CPU can do and the, the, the general fundamentals of how Blender performs with my CPU and then comparing that to the RTX A6000. Uh, we see here with this, with this demo file that it takes about seven minutes and 30 seconds to get the full render going. So now changing our render type to the GPU compute as opposed to the CPU compute. And we're gonna run this uh, one more time. Um, you can see at 10X it goes really fast. Um, but yeah, that's the idea is six minutes versus less than a minute. Um, again, we're going to change the render engine on this other example. Um, this is running CPU render again. You can tell by the orange worker agents that there's more of them. Uh, this one took a little bit less time than the first. Uh, I think this one was about six minutes-ish. Um, again, no notable load on the GPU because again, we're running the CPU rendering method, 100% of load on CPU. And it takes a while. So I, I sped it up 10% because who has time to sit around and watch a render go and watch paint dry for seven minutes, right? And it's not quite fun. So six minutes, 12 seconds using the CPU render engine on that guy. Um, and switching the render engine from cycles now CPU to GPU compute. Starting the render one more time, just to give you guys a comparison. Again, you guys can download these files and test them on your GPUs to see what you get, and your CPUs, of course. Uh, you see the GPU load in the task manager and the load there in GPU Z. This render finishes in about two minutes and 13 seconds as opposed to the six minutes. So a little different ratio there, not six to one, but like three to one. So generally speaking, it's all like a five to one improvement. This is the last example using the standard render engine, render engine the EVEE, -E. and uh, this uses uh, what appears to be a combination of both CPU and GPU. You can see the CPU load and the GPU load, uh, you know, in in the uh, task manager and GPU Z. Um, this is just hitting the play button in in the user interface, right? So. Uh, this would be applicable to those using Blender every day, what, what kind of performance you might expect, um, and then how the GPU and CPU are taxed while using Blender. All right, so in the first uh, demo file that we tested, we saw a six to one improvement. And then on the uh, second file, we saw a three to one improvement. So we're somewhere in the you know three to four to five to one uh, range on it, you know, improvement over a CPU. Granted, my CPU is a little older. It is 16 cores, but it is one of the original thread rippers from AMD. Um, it's still kicking. It's still doing a great job, so I'm not complaining about it. Um, but you could expect some better results maybe out of the newer line of thread rippers um, or, you know, Intel equivalent, something of that matter. But this is just the look, a uh, quick look at the uh, RTX A6000 in Blender. If you have any more ideas that you'd like to see, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'd be happy to help you out. If you watch this video all the way through, I can't thank you enough. Please like and subscribe and support my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. This is Adam Hughes, Fight On.